I am Sir Vian Rafael Silavini. You can also call me Sir John, and there's nothing to fear in learning science because we will live up the seriousness and make this learning fun. So keep motivated and stay with me as I walk you through our journey on Amazing Science. that you have your ball pen and notebook with you to help you take down notes as we go along the lesson. Are you excited? I am just excited as you are. Now that we're all set, let's start! This lesson will provide you the knowledge on how the respiratory and circulatory system works together on transporting nutrients, gases, and other molecules and from the different parts of the body. Hi, here is my AI friend Mateo and he wants to ask some question before we start. Hello, I am Mateo and I am with you in this journey. I just wanna ask, why do you humans have to eat? It is because food is the major source of energy that our body needs. We need energy all the time, when we walk, when we sing, and even when we sleep. We get energy by eating. In addition to that, the structure components that make up the human body, such as muscles, organs, and bones are also composed of the nutrients contained in the food. Okay, let's discuss the circulatory system and let's go first with the heart. The superior vena cava receives blood from the head, neck, upper limb, and chest, while the inferior vena cava receives blood from the trunk and the lower limbs. Both the superior and inferior vena cava end up in the right atrium, one of the four chambers of the heart. The heart has also four bulbs which keep blood moving in the right direction and not flow backwards. Blood exits the right atrium through the tricuspid valve, so called because it has three flaps, and moves to the right ventricle. The oxygenated blood leaves the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve and enters the pulmonary artery. It is an artery because blood is flowing away from the heart, but it is blue because it lacks oxygen. The pulmonary artery then split into the left and right pulmonary arteries which go to each lung. In the lungs, gas exchange takes place. The blood releases carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. After that, oxygenated blood comes back to the lungs through the pulmonary veins entering the left atrium. Blood is pumped to the left ventricle through the mitral or bicuspid valve. Lastly, the oxygenated blood leaves the left ventricle through the aortic valve, entering the aortic arc. Aorta, which is the largest of all the arteries, distributes the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. By this time, let's take a look at the model of respiratory system. Can you name the parts, one by one? How does the respiratory system work? Gas exchange process is performed by the lungs and respiratory system. Air enters through the nose or mouth. When it passes through the nostrils, the air is warm and humidified. Tiny hairs called cilia protect the nasal passageways and other parts of the respiratory tract, filtering out dust and other particles that enter the nose. The two openings of the airway meet at the pharynx or throat which carries both food and air. Trachea or windpipe is the continuation of the airway below the larynx. The walls of the trachea are strengthened by stiff rings or cartilage to keep it open. It is also lined with cilia, which sweep fluid and foreign particles out of the lungs. At its bottom end, the trachea divides into left and right air tubes called bronchi which connect to the lungs. The 
bronchi branch into smaller bronchi and even small tubes called bronchioles. It ends in tiny air sacs called alveoli, where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. Now that we are done with our class discussion, play a game for you to become the very best of yourself. Hey trainer, you are already late for your short quiz. Come on, let's play. You may choose between the three Pokeballs. Just click here to proceed. Before you see the Pokemon inside, you should have to answer an easy question first. Try the leftmost Pokeball now. Pokeball question number one. Though are the description for the two body systems. Construct a Venn diagram to show their similarity and differences. Write the letter inside the corresponding space. If you have this answer, you got it right. Who's inside? And your body will be Pikachu. <laughs> now, tell me, Mateo, what have you learned in our lesson? What is the role of the respiratory system? The respiratory system works directly to the circulatory system to provide oxygen to the body. This substance moves into the blood vessels and circulates the oxygen-rich blood to tissues and cells in the body. Once again, I am Sir John and there's nothing to fear in learning science because we will live out the seriousness and make this learning fun. See you in our next journey here in Amazing Science.